right. Hi. Uh, last time in my devlog, we looked at the slip rings and how awful they are for USB connection. Um, yeah, I have since removed the slip rings from the CAD model and I also uh, ordered the new PCBs, they're on their way. I stumbled across a different problem. I, I wanted to redo the mount um, to this carriage. Let me get you a bit closer. This carriage here, now we can see it. So this carriage here um, rides on the slider I've been using and I wanted to redo the mount because there are no measurements for the four screws and I wanted to get exact measurements to have a good fit. Uh, I, I was never really happy with this solution because um, it depends on that you can buy the exact slider I have and I checked it's not even uh, anymore available on Amazon. So I'm gonna ditch the slider and go for a V-slot rail like this one, uh, which is readily available everywhere. So the, the problem I, I found here for holes, not symmetrically here, test piece. The center hole is in the middle, that's okay. You see a little bit of red, the other side, no red. This edge, it's sticking out. Check the measurements against borders. This hole to this border, this hole to the upper border. Center point here, I did all the four holes the same. They are symmetric to the center hole. They are not symmetric on the original aluminum part here. That was just a nail in the coffin for the sliders. For my other experiments, I have uh, fiddled around with this and I, I'm pretty happy with the quality. And, and yeah, it's very rigid, you see, can't really bend it. Um, it's yeah, somewhat cheap. Um, if you get a local supplier, you can get these up to two meters, which is crazy. And then there are even like little uh, extension rods you can put in here and then you can go as long as you want. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen. Also, um, this means I have to uh, redo a little bit of this here. And yeah, I think almost all the pieces have to change again. But that's, that's just how it is. Also, I took the opportunity to fix the cable chain because this cable chain here uh, used to be mounted somewhat like this and then you're here and then you're going back and forth and the cable chain does its cable chaining very nice but as soon as you do not have a table underneath it yeah it will just fall down and i can't have that so what i thought it would be better to have like a horizontal cable chain like this you see it still works. The, the cable chain is stiff enough that it can stay pretty straight on its own. And this is like over a meter long now. But if we half it like this, that's pretty good. Yeah, so uh, I will mount this in here. This will get a little cut out in the round part and this will just slap on here. And now we don't have any cables outside anywhere. I have designed now a little mount for the cable chain uh, here on the end of the slider and also here on the carriage. Here is a little support arm. Yeah, which holds the cable chain up so it doesn't sag as much and drags on the rails. And this is working really good. This leaves me open to mount um, cheese plates to the bottom of this rail so I can mount this to tripods or, or anything with a quarter inch 20. I've also since redesigned the, the block here which holds the, the slider motor and all the, the USB plugs and all the input basically. This is redesigned and printed and I've adap adapted this um, slider base I call it where everything is down here uh, to to get the cable chain and also the new end stops and everything so basically a, a, a 
almost complete redesign of the slider unit, but I think it's worth it. Um, another thing I, I redesigned is this part, which you know holds like the, the camera. This is bad from a printing uh, standpoint because this uses supports and they are really bad to remove. I basically cut this in half here. Zip. And now we have two parts, which is one ring. This is basically this ring here. And this one can print flat without any supports. The other part, like this whole section here. Yeah, I printed it like this, but it prints like garbage because of the overhangs. Um, so I'm reprinting it right now in this orientation. But um, those two things have to go together and this will be done with these screws along here. These are three M5 screws on each side and um, I will put heat inserts in here and I hope this is enough um, to hold basically the weight of the camera and everything. This here will be stiff because of the metal brackets which are along uh, this side here. This one screws right on here. Now we have the whole part again. So this is printing now. Everything else I have already printed. This takes about like yeah, almost 700 grams of filament and well, probably more with, with the back cover. Let's say, let's say under a kilo. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, I also got the new PCBs. They arrived and I have basically all the hardware assembled. So we can, we can put it together soon. All right, so I've printed the new feet. They are under here. They're a little shorter than the old ones. See those ones here. They were designed to um, yeah, basically clamp into the table like so. But this makes it really like dependent on your table. And yeah, I didn't like that. So new feet. They are also closer to the ground because you can you can always go higher. And also, um, I have attached cheese plates uh, here, cheese plates to the bottom, and they don't they don't interfere with the wheels because they are mounted to uh, T nuts in the, the rails below. The other thing is the new um, stepper mount for the end. It's this here, um, the end electronics and everything there in here, and the lid goes on like this. Holds on with two screws and there's the power button and uh, power input and USB-C. Yeah, so the other thing <laughs> I did all of yesterday was work on a, a bill of material. And I've uh, added now all the like threaded inserts to the model. I have um, redone the uh, Python script that comes with uh, Fusion 360. I maybe show you. Can you see any of that in here? Yeah, you can. All right. So uh, everything has a name. It has the count you need, like uh, two of these and so on, and the description here. So everything is either a 3D print. A PCB which will get its own bill of material or it's a part I bought somewhere and for everything I have put in these uh, ASIN numbers basically if you input this into Google you will get a link to Amazon and see where I bought it so you can get at least an, an idea of, of what to get and I try to be as descriptive as possible and also you can uh, look it up in the 3d file I will provide so hopefully with this you will be able to, to recreate this uh, slider. That's been like the <laughs> all of, of yesterday because the, the original Python script was not that great. Yeah, you got like uh, parts in here for the soda mask on the PCB. Yeah, not so good. But now I will add the screws as well in the 3D model so you know exactly how many and which screws to get. And then it's looking pretty good for version 1.0. Uh, after the last iteration I printed, I had a few, um, yeah, you know, remarks, changes, and so on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna print another, 
and <laughs> hopefully it is the last. Yeah, let's see.